maybe, you know, Congress and everything, because he's just taking it. here. It's part of a large uh, sarai and temple and all these uh, part of a big complex. Inside the lower area, this area has now been um, become part of the beginning of an archaeological park. This land has been nationalized. My name is Timothy Harrison. I am a professor of Near Eastern Archaeology at the University of Toronto and today here we are at the site of Tainot in the Amik Ovase and uh, we have been conducting excavations here for about 20 years now, almost two decades, and conducting excavations on the ancient site of Kunalua. So we began excavations in 2004, and we have been excavating every year, almost continuously since that year, so approximately 15, 16 uh, seasons. We have had hundreds of uh, staff members. They are a very international team. At any one season, we may have about 35 or so. They are coming from Turkey, from Canada, from the US, from Europe, uh, Germany, Belgium, Britain, also from the Middle East, from Lebanon, from, uh, we've had people from Iran and from Jordan, also Australia, even Japan, a very international team. I have conducted excavations in Turkey for about 20 years now and have also conducted and directed excavations in other parts of the Mediterranean, Eastern Mediterranean, including places like Jordan and other parts of the Eastern Mediterranean. Hatay is a remarkable part of Turkey. It's really a very diverse place because it's at a cultural, linguistic, and even religious and political intersection. It is a crossroads of the Middle East and so this means that it is a very, very amazing uh, cultural heritage, a very rich cultural legacy from all the many cultures that, uh, of the region that have passed through uh, the Hatay over the thousands of years of human history here. So our excavations at Tainat, which have been going on now for almost 20 years, all of the material from those excavations are housed in the Hatay Archaeological Museum. And many of them you can visit the museum, which is an amazing uh, museum. It's something everyone must visit and see and you will see many of the discoveries from our excavations on display in the Hatay Museum. Over these years we have found many, many artifacts. Uh, some seasons we will find several hundred thousand, keeping in mind that many of these are pieces of pottery, or pieces of bone, or other artifacts that are in fragments. We have thousands of fragments of some of the sculptures that we are currently trying to reconstruct and put back together. So overall, in total, more than a million artifacts from these years and this material is all stored in the excavation uh, depot and in the museum. I would like to focus on three in particular. We have had a, many exciting discoveries. Many of them have been reported even by the Anadolu Agency over the years, I'm happy to say. And uh, we, three, the first is a large cuneiform tablet. It's about 30 by 45 centimeters, so it's very large and it is essentially a treaty between the kings of Asur in Iraq and the local uh, population and kingdom here in the Hatay. The second artifact, of course, has to be Shupili Duguma. Many of you may have already seen or heard about it. You can see it in display in the Hatay Archaeological Museum. This is a statue of one of the kings of the Getch or late Hittite period, the Iron Age here in Antakya in the Hatay. The third is a very recent discovery, and that is of a female statue. It's very, become very clear to our research that there were very important leaders in the community who were women, and we believe this statue is a representation of one of those leaders, and we uh, think it will change our understanding fundamentally about the role of women in ancient society in this region. Very important discovery, and we are now putting her, restoring her in all the pieces in the uh, Hatay Archaeological Museum. And we hope to be able to display her in a few years in the museum for all to see. All of my excavation uh, involvement in Turkey has been in the Hatay, uh, I'm very happy to say. I've been very um, fortunate and very um, been, uh, 
been a real blessing to be able to um, have the opportunity to excavate in the Hatai. We are here now in the Hatai at Tainat preparing for excavations the last few years because of the pandemic and the other logistical matters we have had to uh, take, pause our excavations but now we are preparing these excavations uh, to resume and uh, we are here preparing the land and also the um, logistics of the excavation and uh, so we hope very much to be able to uh, begin those excavations next year and we hope to be able to report on the results of those discoveries to, uh, through the Anadolu Agency next year and so we hope everyone will be waiting to hear of those discoveries when uh, once we've resumed excavations. <laughs> Thank you. 